Hey guys and welcome back to Survivor. Today I'm going to hint you about my top picks of VR games, experiences and simulators you can run on your Pimax headset without even using the Steam VR tracking system. I know many of you with a Pimax headset are still waiting for your tracking lighthouses and controllers which are soon to be released. Some of you maybe ordered a Pimax headset recently and just realized that you cannot play room scale VR games. Well don't worry and don't let your Pimax collect dust. You can play loads of games with your Pimax headsets alone without the lighthouses. In fact there are hundreds of great VR games and experiences you can run on your Pimax just by sitting down and using the built-in tracking system with the 3 degrees of freedom in VR. So let's check out my best recommendations that you can enjoy on your Primax without lighthouse tracking. And before we begin, a big thanks to all my lovely Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my three official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. First, let me quickly explain the technical part. The Pimax headsets 5K+, 5K XR and Pimax 8K are supporting two different tracking solutions. The main one is the Steam VR tracking system where you use one or a pair of lighthouses also called base stations to track the headsets and your wireless VR controllers with a 6 degree of freedom room scale support. This allows you to stand up or sit down in games while moving around freely in your VR space in all directions including positional movements and your controllers will handle your hand gestures, just like most of the other VR headset does. You can either use the lighthouses and controllers from the HTC Vive, Vive Pro or Valve Index which are fully compatible with Pimax headsets. Soon Pimax will also have their own lighthouses available for orders and of course for all the Pimax backers. But now. If you don't have any lighthouses and wireless controllers today for your Pimax, you can simply disable the lighthouse tracking in the Pytool software at any time. Once you have disabled this checkbox, you can do a quick room setup inside of Pytool to align your sitting down or standing up position and your Pimax will automatically start to track the headset using its own built-in tracking system with the help of a gyroscope sensor. This tracking system will give you a 3 degrees of freedom tracking instead, just like the Oculus Go for example, which means your rotational head movements will work just as normal in VR. You can look around in any direction in full 360 degrees and you can freely tilt your head in any direction. What you cannot do with the built-in tracking is to move forward, backwards or to the sides in the VR space because the positional movements are not registered. But that doesn't actually prevent you from enjoying a lot of VR games, simulators and experiences in VR. Basically any game that doesn't need wireless VR controllers can be played like this in a sitting down position or in some cases even standing up while playing. And yes, you will get the real VR feeling and immersion. So now when you know how it all works, let's go through a bunch of VR titles that are fully compatible with the Pimax built-in tracking system including simulators, specific VR games and other VR experiences. First we have the VR simulators. Basically every single flight simulator and racing simulator with VR support is fully working this way. Mainly because you're using either a joystick, a gamepad, a racing wheel or simply your keyboard and mouse for the interaction while sitting down on your chair. All of the top flight simulator titles works great such as Digital Combat Simulator, X-Plane 11 VR, Elite Dangerous, Airfly FS2 Flight Simulator, IL-2 Stormavik, Flight Simulator X, Prepare 3D and many many others. They become really immersive VR experiences this way. You can freely look around in your cockpit in 360 degrees, also up and down and you have the proper 3D perspective and correct sitting position. You can of course not move or lean your head closer to the cockpit as it requires positional 6 degree of freedom tracking but most flight simulators support a zoom function if you need to get closer to your gauges. And the same goes for the racing simulators such as Project Cars 1 and 2 as well as Acero Corsa including the new Competizione version, we have iRacing, R Factor 2 VR, Race Room Racing Experience, Kart Racing Pro and many other racing simulators. In 
fact, I have yet today not found any racing simulator that struggles with the Pimax built-in tracking, it just works as Nvidia would have said. The positional tracking or 6 degree of freedom is actually not that important in simulators as you are barely using it while sitting down. Sure, I admit you cannot lean out of the window of your FA18C Hornet or a Ferrari, but would you do that in real life anyway? Well, most likely not. The main movements you really need to get immersed in simulators are rotational and it will give you the proper sense of actually being in there in the VR space and in that shiny cockpit. So if you are a VR simulator fan, either playing racing, flight or space simulators, you can easily enjoy every single one of your favorite sims on your Pimax headset without any lighthouses at all. And if you feel that you really need the Steam VR 6 degree of freedom positional tracking system in simulators, a single lighthouse or a base station is more than enough to get you tracked with room scale support while sitting down. My second topic for Pimax without lighthouses is to watch movies in VR. The Pimax headsets are in my opinion the best VR headsets available on the market for watching movies, especially the Pimax 5K XR with OLED panels giving you great black levels and amazing color reproduction. The main reason is the wide field of view that allows you to have a huge movie screen in front of you that is fully visible throughout your entire site. The wide field of view also gives you a much bigger sweet spot or the huge visible center area being fully sharp. In most cases you won't even need to move your head at all while watching a movie and everything will be fully sharp including movie subtitles. And not only flat 2D movies are supported, but also 180 and 360 degrees movies, including 3D side by side and over and under movies that gives you cool depth and extra immersion while watching. You can of course rotate your head in any direction while sitting in the VR cinema, just like normally, but you cannot lean your head or move closer without positional tracking of course, but who needs that anyway while watching movies? Some of the Steam VR applications for watching movies does require wireless VR controllers such as big screen beta, but there are applications which you can interact with just a mouse and a keyboard or even a gamepad like the virtual desktop application for example, which is probably the best VR software available to watch movies and do desktop work. By the way, while mentioning desktop work, it's actually my top pick number 3 for Pimax without base stations. Using the built-in tracking on your Pimax, you can use several applications such as virtual desktop for example, to access your PC desktop in VR and do lots of kind of useful things including watching YouTube clips, browsing the web, doing desktop work such as editing videos or photos, managing or writing documents, do coding and much more. With the low screen door effect and high resolution with very good clarity, especially using the Pimax 5K Plus headset, doing any kind of desktop interaction works like a charm in VR. And with the 3 degrees of freedom tracking without lighthouses, you can look around freely without any tracking loss. Just connect your Pimax to a laptop for example and imagine doing that while sitting on an airplane or a bus or a train. You can basically do anything on your PC desktop without getting disturbed by your surroundings. And that leads us to the next topic, my top pick number 4 which is using Pimax headset without lighthouses to play any PC game that doesn't have native VR support. Start up virtual desktop or any PC desktop application for VR and run any kind of PC game on a huge virtual screen in front of you. You can sit in a virtual home theater doing so or just in a black space with a screen in front of you. There are simply no limitations on what you can do on your PC or laptop, what a big VR screen using a Pimax headset, and the built-in tracking lets you look around the screen just like when watching movies. Play your favorite games like Fortnite, Battlefield, PUBG or even custom emulators and enjoy emulated games on a huge screen with the perfect frame rate, just like I'm doing here with the Zelda Breath of the Wild on the virtual desktop. The cool thing also is that if the game supports a side-by-side -side 3D view, you can even play the game with 3D depth on your big VR screen and get even more immersed. Now before we talk about native VR games you can play in your Pimax without lighthouses, let's not forget about Vorpex support, which is my top pick number 5 here. Vorpex is a custom software that lets you play hundreds of the best PC VR games, including many AAA games in VR with head tracking and stereoscopic 3D view. 
How about playing Fallout 76 or Fallout 4, Bioshock, Call of Duty, Resident Evil 7, the Tomb Raider games, all in VR with the 3D view and head tracking. The list of supported games includes hundreds of the best PC games ever made and all of these games are fully playable with a Pimax headset in VR just by using the built-in head tracking. Vorpex is not free software, but it's really worth buying as it could give you thousands of hours in VR playing your best PC game. As for real VR games, my top pick number 6 will be a bunch of various VR games that I truly recommend you to try out on your Pimax if you do not have the base stations and only use the built-in tracking system. First one is Hellblade VR, a AAA game with a full story and many hours of fun. This is a third-person PC game and it has full VR support since last year. Surprisingly enough, it works great with the Pimax built-in tracking, your VR view is the camera behind or around your female character and you can look around in any direction. You play the game with a gamepad of course and the in-game interaction and combat is truly immersive even if you're just sitting down while playing. You can at any time reset your camera view and the limitation of not being able to lean forward using the 3 degree of freedom tracking is nothing you need to worry about here as it's not needed at all in my opinion. Hellblade VR is a must have for every Pimax owner and with the true black levels using the Pimax 5K XR OLED headset the dark environments and colors are just amazing. The second game I'm highly recommending is another AAA game called Subnautica. I guess most of you are already familiar with this PC title and the fact that it has native VR support. But I must add that using Pimax without the lighthouse tracking, Subnautica works amazingly well in VR. The wide field of view and high resolution of Pimax really takes you inside of the VR world under the surface and the Pimax 3 degrees of freedom tracking without the lighthouses does a great job with the head movements while looking looking around you while playing. The interaction in the game is made with a gamepad or with a mouse and keyboard. The VR support is still under development I guess and there are indeed some minor graphical glitches playing Subnautica in VR but that does not really affect your gameplay and you can complete the whole game in VR without any issues. This is truly a must have for all Pimax owners if you ask me. My third best pick of native VR games is Alien Isolation. This is another AAA game in first person which has full VR support thanks to a well-known and free Mother VR mod. The VR mod enables full head tracking and 3D stereoscopic view supporting all current VR headsets. Alien Isolation is still today probably one of the most immersive and scary games you can play in VR and you can either sit down or stand up while playing it in VR. You can control your character with a mouse and keyboard or a gamepad while using a Pimax without the lighthouses and the 3 degrees of freedom head tracking works just perfectly through the whole game, both story mode and the survival mode. Of course you cannot lean your head in any direction without room scale support unless you use the lighthouse tracking system with Pimax, but I wouldn't say it's so important here and the rotational head tracking does a great job getting you immersed. If you have no problems with scary horror games in VR, this is something you need to try on your Pimax even if you do not have the lighthouses. My next VR game recommendation is Yuka Lele or whatever it's called, which is a full 3D platformer game on PC with a long story mode and many hours of gameplay. This game works perfectly in VR thanks to a custom and free mod called Vuka Rayle, which you will find in my video description. In fact, I will add links in the video description to all these mentioned games and VR mods so you can easily try them on your own. Anyways, Yuka Lele looks fantastic in VR on Pimax and this is in my opinion a better experience overall than the native Oculus VR game Lucky's Tale. You can play the game with a gamepad or a mouse and keyboard and the head tracking using a Pimax headset without lighthouses puts you in a perfect spot behind your cute character and gets you really immersed in VR while looking around the beautiful surroundings. The game is quite expensive on Steam but you can often find it very cheap while on sale and I I really recommend you to check it out. 
Another great VR game for your Primax without lighthouses is Ghost of a Tale, which is a third-person adventure and stealth game with a long and engaging storyline. The game supports VR thanks to a custom mod and enables full VR head tracking with or without base stations. Similar to Ukulele, you can control your character with a gamepad or a keyboard and mouse, and the VR view is the camera angle following your character, making you really feel you're inside of that beautiful game world. If you're you're looking for many hours of gameplay with a long story mode, lovely graphics and an exciting challenge also, you really should try Ghost of a Tale on your Pimax headset, especially if you don't have the base stations yet. Ok, so I have two more games I would like to hint you about that works perfectly in VR on a Pimax just by using the built-in tracking. First, the original Oculus home game Lucky's Tale. You can play it on your Pimax VR headset either thanks to the well-known Revive hack or just by starting the game through the PyTool game launcher without the need of Steam VR at all. The camera angles are never a problem here and you're always aligned correctly to your gameplay area and your character. The interaction is made with a gamepad and you can play the game by sitting down. The 3 degrees of freedom head tracking works lovely here and the game looks amazing on a Pimax with a high resolution and ultra wide field of view. And the best thing of all, it's a free game on Oculus Home, so it's definitely something you need to try. Lastly, I would like to recommend a game that haven't got much attention in the VR community, but I think it's a great experience and could be a nice time killer when playing on a Pimax with built-in tracking. This game is called Infinite Minigolf, it's available on Steam and has native VR support since long time ago. You are using a gamepad for the interaction and the VR mode gives you a lovely point of view. The graphics are amazing and the putting interaction is not bad at all despite using a gamepad. It supports only online gameplay and single player and I'm sure you can get a lot of hours of fun gameplay with this one. Now I know I said Infinite Minigolf was my last recommendation for this video, but I would like to give you a bonus as the top pick number 7 which is adult VR content. I know, it's a forbidden topic to talk about in public, but we all know it's extremely popular and I guess most of you have tried it, just admit it guys. And yes, it works really great with rotational head tracking using Pimax without lighthouses, especially side by side 3D movies with 180 degrees of angle, but I will leave the details out of this time, you should just try it on your own. So as you probably understand now, your Pimax VR headset used without lighthouses gives you a huge possibility to enjoy VR. It is potential to use in hundreds of VR games, the best VR simulators and many other VR experiences. So before you give up on your Pimax because you're still waiting on your lighthouses, I would say dust it off, try my recommendations and enjoy many of the best VR experiences available today with high resolution and a wide field of view like never before. And guys, what do you think about using Pimax headsets without the lighthouse tracking? Do you have any games or experiences to recommend? Let me know in the comments down here below. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more VR related videos coming up. A big thanks to all my lovely Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my three official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador.